Hinsdale is getting ready for its annual Whiz Bang Days. The event starts on Thursday and it runs through Sunday. There are many fun events, but one of the main ones is the annual Nona Rosa's Bochi Ball Tournament. And we wanted to throw bochi balls around here in the studio, and they said no. Surprise. No. Too much glass in here. <laughs> a lot of glass. We have got owner Tina Sulia and owner and chef Francesco Sulia from Nona Rosa. Thanks for coming in, guys. We're so Thank happy you. to be here. Uh, your restaurant is a great restaurant there Thank in Robbinsdale. You. you guys have had, as Robbinsdale has kind of had a bit of a rebirth in a food scene, you guys have also benefited from that, haven't you? You know, we like to think we were the catalyst. We were the first. You were there first. Of course. Yes. That's right. And we brought the path of all the other wonderful restaurateurs in. So. It is nice to see the attention that Robbinsdale has had. And your food, uh, how long have you been open? Um, we are celebrating our fifth anniversary this year. That's awesome. And I hear there's another anniversary to celebrate before we get to the food. Eight years tomorrow. Tomorrow? Your anniversary is tomorrow, oh, right? I forgot. I figured. Oh, this is your <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for telling him. You have a day. Evidence and proof. Thank you for reminding me. You have a day, you you have have so a day to get a present. <laughs> At least a card. A flower, something. Yeah. Just cooking fantastic food <laughs> work? Or? Well, that's how he managed to get me to marry him to begin with. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, now so he needs to reinvent. What did you bring us for us today? Um, well, we picked out some things that we thought were very summer appropriate for yeah. the heat and the dining season. Um, the first thing there has been one of our items on the menu for quite a while. That's our prosciutto e caprese. Um, it's a great little summer salad. It comes with um, some bread on the side, and it's the fresh Roma tomatoes, the mozzarella cheese, prosciutto, a little bit of extra bruschetta to go with the bread, and it's just like light and savory, and it tastes nice and fresh all this the time. Is my all-time favorite <clears throat> in the world. Perfect summer. Perfect summer food right there. But you have to have some beautiful pasta. Well, and some beautiful you know, we're sauce, going with the right? flag of Italy here, the red, white, and green. Nice. So now we're on to the green. Um, what we have added to the menu this season is a chicken bruschetta. Everybody loves bruschetta. We thought we would bake it with some goat cheese and some white wine cream sauce and uh, put it with a little mix of uh, pesto spaghetti. Brilliant. Another wonderful uh, summer dish, and it's been very widely received. People really enjoy it. A little bit of garlic in that, of course. And this salad looks fantastic. This is our insalata de mela, and uh, mela means apple. And so what we've done is we've taken uh, green Granny Smith apples. We've topped it with our mixed greens, our balsamic vinaigrette, which is house made every day, uh, gorgonzola cheese, some walnuts, a little balsamic reduction to give it a kick and a little sweetness. And it's very, very wonderful with like salmon or chicken or anything else over the top. And then Excellent. your last uh, dish over here. One of our fun new flavors that we've added is eggplant. And this is an uh, eggplant appetizer. It's called uh, El, um, eggplant involtini. And what we do is we wrap it up after we've lightly flash fried it. And we put some mozzarella cheese and marinara sauce, a little basil over the top. It's another really nice light dish to enjoy on the patio this summer. Chef, do you love working with the flavors of, of summer? You try to change it up and bring different things in? Yeah, just we change some special by the weekend, you know, some fresh seafood. Food, some fresh cut meat, sometimes it's a veal, sometimes it's a sea bass, sometimes it's, you know, fresh walleye sure. from... The I mean, Minnesotans need walleye. They oh, need, yeah. Many people say, Very oh, Italian. They, don't, they don't have that yeah. up the coast of Israel. No, they should they do say, not. Oh, <laughs> walleye no, is Italian, but... Okay. If you want some walleye, we'll serve, <laughs> we'll serve it up. We'll serve it you up. can do the walleye. So, Whizbang Days, yes. I have not been to it before. What can people expect? Do you know Whizbang Days is the longest running festival in the state of Minnesota? I had no 67 idea. years is what we celebrate this year. Um, Whizbang Days is best known for the awesome parade that's on Sunday. We're the new guys in the event scheme there, so we do uh, the Bochi Ball Tournament on and when Saturday. When is that? Saturday? Yep, all day Saturday. Can anyone come be a part of that? Yes, we love spectators. Uh, we still are accepting a few teams. We have a couple slots left, so if anybody wants to grab a few, friends or family members uh, can sign up through our website but um, otherwise the fireworks are amazing we do uh, have our royalty so we have a coronation on Sunday as well Wonderful. good luck to all the candidates excellent of course Very the good. Nona Rosa one especially of course obviously <laughs> you have sponsored the winner yes, right? That's I right. hope so well we're so glad you guys came in it was so nice of you to bring in all this liquor for my cabinet at home. you know that the rainout really was depressing we yeah. thought we'd cope uh, we appreciate that for me. Very good. Good. Uh, Tina Francesco happy anniversary and thank, thank you. you thank you, thank you. For and thanks great, for having a us great whiz Mm -hmm. days. If you want to see the full calendar, we've got it all for you. Just go to WCCO.com slash links.